my dear students i hope you are now all well by the grace of the almighty in the previous classes we have learned about different kinds of relative pronouns except relative relative pronoun now we are going to learn about relative pronoun what is relative pronoun we will now discuss this here i have written two sentences first here i know the man he came here yesterday b what can we say combining these two sentences what can we say combining these two sentences we can say I know the man who came here yesterday. We find here that who, who has been placed before after noun man, and refers to that man, so it becomes pronoun, and at the same time. this who joins two sentences i know the man he came here that is here who does two things first it refers to the man going before and becomes a pronoun and secondly it joins two sentences that is Does the work like a conjunction? This who is this who is relative pronoun here. So. we can define relative pronoun now the pronoun which is placed immediately after a noun or pronoun and refers to that noun or pronoun and becomes a pronoun and joins two sentences or closes at the same time is called a relative pronoun the word to which relative pronoun the word or noun or pronoun to which the relative pronoun refers is called antecedent here man is the antecedent here man is the antecedent so now we have known what is relative pronoun and what is antecedent relative pronoun as a relative pronoun generally who who is that etc are used and shall and what are also used as relative pronouns the relative the relative pronoun the use of relative pronouns depends 
depends on the antecedent. Relative pronoun in number, gender, person agrees with the antecedent. That is according to according to the number, person, and gender of the antecedent. The number of number, person, and gender of the relative pronoun becomes. Now we will discuss about the use of relative pronoun. Number one, if the antecedent becomes person, If the antecedent becomes persons or a person who is used as the relative pronoun. For example, The boy who came to me is meritorious. Here the antecedent boy is refers to the person and so relative pronoun will be here who. Here antecedent the boy this is a person and so relative pronoun is who here. Relative pronoun who whose if Possessive case, nominative case, objective case, possessive case. Who, nominative case, whom, objective case, possessive case, whose. This is the boy whom you helped. Here whom relative pronoun. And this is object here. So we have used whom. Of course, if it is used in the restrictive sense, that is, this qualifies antecedent. Who instead of whom we also can also use who here.
द बॉय हुज फादर हेल्प यू इज वेरी इंटेलिजेंट हुज देर हुज फादर दैट इज द बॉयज फादर इन दर हुज इज द प्रोसेसिव केस this is a relative pronoun and here its possessive case has been used now point to if the antecedent becomes change any mouse who is is used as relative pronoun if the antecedent becomes things Animals, who is is used as relative pronouns. For example, I have bought a book which is costly. Which relative pronoun, book, antecedent, thing. The goats who is a fat will be killed. Relative pronoun. Goats antecedent and animal. That is the antecedent is an animal here. So relative pronoun is who is. if the antecedent becomes child or baby children babies plural and this is singular if the antecedent becomes child baby singular children baby plural who is is used as relative pronoun For example, I like the child or baby who is does not cry. antecedent relative pronoun who is he loved the
he loved the children who played in his garden children or babies the here relative pronoun this is antecedent thus a relative pronoun if the if the antecedent becomes the name of a country the relative pronoun will be who is and verb will be singular for example name of a country bangladesh who is is a a small country has a large population bangladesh who is has a, a small country has a large population who is is a small country bangladesh this is the name of a country <coughs> so relative pronoun here who is if the antecedent becomes collective noun relative pronoun will be who is and who is will be who is refers to the collective noun I joined the wedding party which was eating. Here the verb in the close after antecedent will be that is the relative clause introduced by relative pronoun will be singular. For example, here was relative pronoun here singular and verb singular. So was is used here. who is relative pronoun wedding party antecedent and this is collective noun this collective noun may be noun of multitude when the antecedent becomes noun of multitude the relative pronoun is who is Sorry, the relative pronoun is if the antecedent becomes noun of multitude, the relative pronoun will be who and the verb will be plural. That is the that is here the members of the party are separately meet and. they become plural so verb here or plural verb and in this case 
this pronoun relative pronoun will be who does relative pronoun is who is that is who is is used as relative pronoun when the preceding clause that is antecedent becomes a whole clause a complete sentence He rises early in the morning, which is good for his health. Here a whole sentence or close antecedent. Here which is relative pronoun and verb is singular. And the elaborate relative pronoun is a long term if we discuss this elaborately this will take a lot of time so here i finish the teaching with the best of all of you now you will read the book and learn in about relative pronoun in detail